Hey, everybody, welcome back to The Perfect Portfolio. And uh, of course, this is the course where we uh, raise your financial IQ, teach you to fish, automate your income. And of course, we teach you the buy, borrow, die tax strategy that billionaires use. And we're talking with Sid Boker today. And uh, Sid, maybe just tell us just a, a little bit about yourself. Sure. Um, uh, uh, born in uh, Needles, California. Nice. Been there. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, and when I was three, we moved to Australia. Uh, lived in Australia for five years. Uh, moved back to California. Um, then when I was 18, I moved all the way over to Virginia on the other side of the country. Uh, worked there for a while. Um, and uh, and bounced around a little more after that. I've been to Texas, Louisiana, spent four and a half years in Saudi Arabia, and now I'm back in Houston, Texas. Uh, um, electrical engineer, oil and gas, uh, take care of my two children, uh, and um, like to play music, see the guitars. What story with the with the guitars behind you there? When when did you start playing a guitar? Oh, a long time ago, back when I was in California. I, I've been playing in bands pretty much most of my life. Uh, actually, over in uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, with I, my band played at the Marine Corps Ball and the U.S. Consulate in uh, Dahran. That was a really uh, wonderful, amazing experience. Oh, Very sounds, grateful to have it. That sounds incredible. Sounds incredible. So I wish there was cool video cameras back then when you get, a, get some good shots of it. But uh, so anyways, when you were growing up, we're, I mean, my, my family grew up around, con, we were construction workers. We never talked about finances. We just knew we didn't have any. <laughs> was there talk about finances when you were growing up or any investors in the household? And no, no. But um, later on in life, my mom started uh, investing in stocks and real estate. And uh, so I got to witness a little bit of that and and enjoyed some of the benefits of that. She, uh, you know, the the money that she made through real estate and investing, she paid for me and my sister to go to school. My sister's a lawyer. Uh, I'm an engineer. So, uh, you know, we, we reaped the fruits of of her her uh, financial journey. Um, so I seen some of it from afar. Right. I never thought much of it. Um, um, and then, you know, fast forward to now, uh, just later in life, I guess I just started thinking more about finances, getting closer to retirement age and um, just started reading books and trying to educate myself a little more. Cool. Cool. So when did, when did you start educating yourself on like financial IQ. Was that a recent thing or something you did in the last couple of years? What were you doing? Was uh, it it was recent, probably all within the last year. Um, you know, it started with me taking over a, a retirement account. Uh, you know, I, I started managing a small retirement account and I had a financial advisor handling another one. And I just did an experiment and, and, and bought an S&P 500 ETF and that was outperforming my financial advisor. So I got rid of him. Yeah. Decided to do it on my own. And some other things happened. I got a letter from the IRS and it made me really mad. That's when I bought your book, uh, nice. Top 10 Ways to Avoid Taxes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, and then that kind of sent me on another path. So I've read several books and, of course, um, I sent an email uh, to you and got involved with the perfect portfolio. Um, it's been really uh, very beneficial and enlightening uh, to learn all the things about, you know, passive income streams and uh, and real estate and, and tax advantages. Awesome. Awesome. So good. So uh, most people come into the course at level three, which is like, save money, get good credit, max up my 401k to set to save on taxes. Do, I think you mentioned you were kind of at a level three where it's just kind of Roth IRA and index funds, 401ks and that sort of thing. Um, where do you feel like you are now? I, I mean, how, and, and more importantly, uh, how do you, how do you see that changing your life in the next 12 to 24 months based on what you ordered in the course? Oh, uh, man, I, I, before the course, uh, I pretty much just thought I was going to have to work the rest of my life. Um, uh, now I've 
got uh, plans uh, to 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 retire, or if not retire, at least achieve some form of financial independence in the next two to three years, um, which is amazing. Um, so uh, you know that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, if I I may keep working, but it'll be because I want to. Uh, not yeah, because I have to. <laughs> right, that, that's a different. Uh, that's a different feeling. Totally, totally. Yeah, it it takes a little bit for people to figure out what they want to do when they don't have to work anymore. And I'm doing it, so I don't. You know, I mean, this is kind of fun, but you know, I'm sure you'll figure it out when you get to there. But so, anyways, you thought you were going to work till you die, and now you're like two to three years. Realistically, I know that's very much true because we we're just putting together numbers. So I think we. we I want to. I want to talk to you next time, whether sometime in the next twenty four to thirty six months or or so where you actually go, yes, I am financially independent and we want to come back with you again and talk to you about what you're doing when you are financially independent. How's that sound? Wonderful. Awesome.